Info, and today I have for you none other than Wick City Reezy, aka Ra Ra. Man, we're gonna go over his homicide uh, paperwork. If you have not done so, hit that subscribe button. Um, it's the top of the morning for me. It's a little early, but I wanted to get some paperwork out to you guys. So hit that subscribe button if you have not. Uh, we will be jumping into this paperwork. Um, and thumb up the video if you have not as well. Uh, yeah, so let's just jump into this. All right, our first document is a Chicago Police Department case supplementary report. It is a homicide and a first degree murder um, on the date of August 25th, 2010, uh, 23, 3600 hours. Date submitted. August 30th, 2010, uh, 0620 hours, excuse me. Uh, victims, we have listed one, Marshall Laverick D, alias Rara, male black, 21. And it lists the type of gunshot wound, I mean, type of uh, injury is a gunshot wound, weapon use handgun. Weapon description, other 9mm handgun. Extent, fatal. Alright, and we have, he was transported to Stroger Hospital. Stroger Hospital. Uh, cause of death, the uh, gunshot to the back. Some inventory uh, evidence. Uh, we have an investigation here on August 26, 2010. Dr. Segovia performed an autopsy on the remains of Laverick Marshall and determined the cause and manner of death to be gunshot wound of chest slash homicide. External, ex excuse me, external examination, gunshot wound enter mid left chest, exit lower left back. We have some inventory documents. This is the autopsy uh, report for uh, Ra Ra, and he was shot in the chest and came out of his, his back, lower back. <clears throat> Scroll through some of this inventory documentation. A lot of inventory. Pod video. Yeah, it says this gunshot residue kit cannot be, <clears throat> excuse me, run because all the something remnants are in use on cases. Oh, maybe instruments. <clears throat> Excuse me. The instruments, so they couldn't get any gunshot residue kits. All right. All right. The above evidence has not been worked. Please review the file and determine whether the evidence needs to be worked or remains at e EPRS. This is a case review of evidence. And they have some comments here. We have already determined who the offenders were and who the recovered clothing under these inventories belong to. Clothing does not belong to the offenders and we do not need it worked. Okay. So we didn't need that uh, bit of evidence um, analyzed. And they're just taking more. Um, these are actually lab reports, like ballistics. They're submitting for seems to be firearms, of course, for the murder of uh, Ra Ra. All right, we'll get through these. It hopes to find the investigation. We have one individual listed here. <coughs> Excuse me. And this will be one Ra Ra Laverick Marshall. Right, and some of his arrest history is here. We'll get through this. Right, and this 
this is a one Williams C uh, convicted felon male 698 pounds eyes brown hair black <clears throat> excuse me age 31 years tattoo form left cash slash dollar bill tattoo ankle right cash tattoo form right Alexis I had a total of 29 arrests, 12 felonies, and 5 misdemeanors, 9 convictions. Let's see if we can get to an investigation of some sort. Seems this whole first page was just convictions. I mean, that's pretty rare. I mean, these guys, you know, must have been pretty active. Um... This is a Sally, male black, 5 feet, 750 pounds. This guy has 18 total arrests, 2 felonies, 16 misdemeanors, 0 convictions. Got some redactions here. And if we don't ever get to a... Um, Investigation of sort, we'll jump into the second document. I'll just clip the video here and then we'll go to the next one. So it's like we got a lot of redactions here. I think there's about four parts to this paperwork, so no worries there. A lot of redactions all the way down. Yep, let's get into the second video. All right, and as you can see, we're in the second document here. Uh, starting off uh, with the redaction, we have a little bit more redaction, so we'll get through this. And there must be some important paperwork here <laughs> that they don't want people to see, which makes sense. So let's just scroll until we see something. Oh, there we go. All right. Okay, so we have a case supplementary report, which is a progress lineup report. Uh, the date this was submitted is October 1st, 2010, 002100 hours. This is a field investigation progress lineup report. Of course, for one uh, rah rah. Suspects are known at this time. Evidence. All right, we have uh, persons viewing the lineup is redacted. We have particip uh, persons participating in lineup from left to right. One through four is redacted. The fifth uh, lists a Cashel Williams, male 134, six feet two, 200 pounds. Person identified in lineup, Williams Cashel. We have an investigation. A lineup was conducted in area two located at redacted. The participants were Placed in custody, uh, place, excuse me, placed in interview room number three. The participants were not asked to speak, nor were they required to wear any additional clothing. Cashel Williams was allowed to choose his position in the lineup. Williams chose position number five. A witness redacted, redacted viewed the lineup through one-way mirrored glass. Redacted identified Williams as the individual that fired a handgun at Laverick Marshall. This case remains in progress. All right, we're getting down to a second progress lineup document that was submitted October 1st, 2010 at 0009-100 hours. Let's see if we get to um, an investigation here. Um, or it's more a uh, photo lineup viewing. It's uh, Kesha Williams. It says a lineup was conducted in area two located at Redacted. The participants were placed in interview room number three. Um, all right, a witness viewed the lineup through one way mirror glass and identified Williams as the individual that fired the gun. Here we have another case supplementary report. Uh, this one was submitted on September 30th, 2010, at 234300 hours. All right.
we have persons viewing the lineup. Uh, no identification was made in the lineup this time. All right. A witness redacted redacted viewed the lineup through one way mirrored glass. Redacted was unable to make a positive identification of the individual that he saw fire a handgun southbound toward Laverick Marshall. This case remains in progress. We have another progress lineup document. Uh, this one was submitted September 11th, 2010 at 01 1700 hours. So I'd imagine they're doing a lot of lineups and they're getting some positive identifications or more than not, I would say. All right, and this time it seems Cashel Williams chose to be somewhere in the third position, third or fourth. Says a photo array was conducted at Redacted. The photograph of Cashel Williams was placed in a photo array along with five filler photos of individuals that possess similar demographics to Williams. Redacted viewed the photo array and stated that the photo of Cashel Williams in the photograph of one of the filler looked like the shooter, but that he would have to see the individual in person to make a positive identification. This photo array was inventoried under inventory number Redacted. This case remains in progress. All right, and we have the lineup photo spread advisory form that they have the people sign once they view the lineup. Or participate in the lineup, rather. All right, and this is the more than likely the identification they made on the individual, which is the one Cash L. Williams. Got some progress reports here. <coughs> Excuse me. Person's viewing is redacted. See page one. Person identified Williams Cashel. Detective Moore Gross. There's a lot of lot of cases. I've seen this name around. Um, or female, I'm not sure. Um, yep, just more signing of the lineup photo spread from the participants. Um, so, like I said, a lot of uh, what is this uh, photo lineup uh, activity going on with this? I mean, if you get, you know, a bunch of people saying they saw this guy shoot at certain individuals, you know, that stands up pretty substantially in court. So, but then you got to get the witnesses to court. All right. But now we have, <clears throat> excuse me, some handwritten uh, progress reports. And we'll try to make out what we can um, from the document. Uh, we have contact, uh, contacted redacted girlfriend's cell phone. Redacted called back, asked if he would be willing to look at a lineup and talk to ASA concerning Willie Sally. Said he would. Already asked for cell number at redacted, said to use redacted. All right, on well, October 5th, 2011, 1151 hours, room three. Sally Willie in room. 1854 hours, detectives back in room, advised the rights, redacted South King Drive with redacted cell phone, works doing child care paid by state, watches redacted kid and brother's girlfriend's kids, earn at $760 a month, have two children, four-year-old girl, seven-year-old son, lives in Parkway. Wasn't there when Ra Ra killed Meant to call reporting detectives, but lost number. <clears throat> Excuse me. Came afterwards after got a call from bro. Redacted. Redacted was out there. Told him Ra Ra's brother got in a fight and Ra Ra went to help him. Um, boy. No, a what is this? Boy lost left. A son, not sure what this boy, 10 left. Rara still in, and when 
got there was at baby mama. Okay. <clears throat> oh, this is a continuation of that document. Uh, second, next document. House in Trimble Park at Redacted. Drove from there in ambulance. Still there. We're trying to save him. Took at 10 minutes. <clears throat> Got off on 67th. Was out there. Told him Ra Ra's brother got in a fight and Ra Ra went to help him. A boy lost. A, a boy lost. Left. Got gun. Not sure what that is. Shock. Shocking or something. Shooting. Started shooting. Excuse me. <clears throat> A boy lost, left, got a gun, started shooting. Rara still ran back to his house, collapsed. Rara still in ambulance when got there. Was that baby mama? House in Trumbull Park at Redacted. Drove from there in ambulance. Still there. We're trying to save him. According to detectives. Took at 10 minutes. Got off on 67th. Came close friends since grammar school. Heard Cash did it. Didn't know Cash. Heard Cash was drunk and not in right mind. Saw Cash on video. Teach me how to whoop. Never saw him before. All BDs there. People come from different areas. City. It's last project. Standing. Baby mama drove him there. Don't live with her. On curfew from stolen vehicle case. Now allowed in Parkway, not barred anymore. Car case from redacted curfew is 24 hours. Call if learning, not sure. Promises he wasn't out there, has witnesses, his brother. Ra Ra's, his brother, Ra Ra's brother, Mama, went in there with them, apartment, didn't see the reporting detectives there, tell him Ra Ra's family wouldn't know if he was there or not, hundreds of people there, her redacted got in a fight with some boy's girlfriend, that's how fight started, tell him he was observed at out there shooting said he never heard a sh heard never heard or shot a gun just a pellet gun not that he could remember I asked him at repost from 20 of July at 2300 at redacted South King redacted made Report saw him, knew he was something chased him. Saw him drop nine millimeter recovered gun. Willie really Sally named offender. He remembers being chased that day. It was a new security guard chased him that day. Chased at ten twelve of Something on ban list. Chase because nobody where it is from fighting <clears throat> was with Squirrel that day. Insists it a lie that he was shooting that day towards cash. Tell him at shell casings two different guns. Back and forth shooting. Uh, Parkway got this is a continuation of that other doc. Those other couple documents. Parkway got new security at one month ago. Says redacted would go back up 
would back up his story. Son stayed home with grandma. Redacted when Redacted drove him to Parkway. Redacted dropped him off and left. Redacted called him on Willie's cell phone. Redacted paid phone. Redacted stays in Parkway with girlfriend. Redacted have one child together. Redacted is banned in band list two with sister and mother two. Mom lives on Redacted. Sister is Redacted. Was in court today with him. Redacted two was there. Didn't hear who shot back at Cash. Would tell us if he knew. Redacted walks out Congress Hotel downtown. Talked to Redacted brother that night. Redacted mother was home in room when with her husband when redacted. Detectives leave at 13.06 hours. At 22.43 hours, he was re-advised of his rights. Told him we interviewed redacted and she did not identify or verify his story. He was not there that night and didn't drive him there that night. Knew Rara, but only had heard on the news about murder. Other baby mama said he was there that night. Redacted said Redacted never told her at about the murder. And sis doesn't know who shot at Cash and that he wasn't there. She drove me over there in her car. Mama's name something. Making payments slash confront him. Was there at Parkway Gardens that night. Was at Cousin House next door to Ra Ra's mother when the, when things started. Redacted came running, yelling through the through window that Ra Ra was shot. Was laying down, eating noodles, got dressed and ran out there. Got into it with security guard because he didn't stop Ra Ra from getting shot. Says he went. Down there only after Ra Ra was shot. Ground. Uh, waiting for ambulance. Went down there the second time after Ra Ra on ground. Waiting for ambulance. Right. Um, said nobody shot at cash. Someone only shot in the air two to three times. A far distance away from cash to disperse crowd. Person shot two to three times in something who shot wasn't him, just someone he was with. Doesn't know his name. Started everyone started running and then cash shooting. Same gun. Not sure. Said people were, were saying he had the gun and ran. Th thinks he shot three to four times in air and ran. Excuse me, and ran. Someone told him to shoot to rear, no, to tear it up the crowd. After he shot, he ran. Not the same gun that was dropped uh, this summer in July. Gun that was shot was. Mac grab gun from one of the fifth ward is scratched out. Newtown guys cash from fifth ward, they hang together to rap. Willie argues cash something back after shot to disperse crowd. Cash fired first. Turn admits he shot in air to something crowd. Doesn't know where that gun is now. Doesn't understand how Cash shot Rah Ra too far away. Guy who gave gun called Tails or Tails doesn't know 
is a Newtown BD. Says they were from far down when Cash was shooting. Fight was over at this time. T tell him his was something named being put out. I'm not sure. Redacted identifies him. How many shots did it, did you, something you remember? No, sir. How many do you think? Three don't, ask me questions. All right, so another continuation. How Cash Bullet could have hit Ra Ra cause he was too far away. Doesn't know where Tal stays, got to, uh, fight oh, okay got to fight after it was over remained to fight um, Ike has a bad tamper a uh, temper excuse me tamper temper Ike has a bad temper he and Ra Ra fight got gun from Tell gave gun back right away after he shot saw the gun in Cash's hand before shooting started, Ra Ra was south of him when he shot. Uh, 2318 Chip. Not sure. Ra Ra ran towards um, him, his house after Willie shot. Tells ran one way and way. Something ran another after gave him gun back. Cash saw with gun in hand before he shot. Didn't think Cash wanted to shoot with the security guard right there. I don't un something. I didn't I didn't intentionally try to hurt anyone. Turned my head, aimed up and shot. Told him bullet went into a Something window slash wedged on siding. One police recovered live round next day. Not Cash's bullet from Kane. Not Cash's bullet came from other way. Ra Ra was in front of me when I shot. Closer to 65th slash south of me. Don't see how Ra Ra was struck. Cash didn't really know guy redacted got in a fight with. Cash was running towards us with gun out. I didn't shoot for no reason. He was going to try to hit us. He was coming towards us when I shot in the air. Explain to him how cases get handled something after he asked if his in something wasn't my fault at all he was running towards us redacted wound redacted wanted to wouldn't come i didn't do nothing wrong because he was trying to get us at 23, 23, 33 seconds. Something, none room. Sutton stays in. Only reason I shot was because he was running towards us. Ra Ra told me to shoot. All right, we have another document here. Uh, request an inventory. Uh, Willie Sally is named offender of UUW in Parkway Gardens. Contact cards and voter registration. All right, it seems we have a female 123. All right, 1829 hours. 
Lily Sally since redacted, lived at Parkway Gardens, didn't like crowds of people, didn't like Parkway Gardens, moved from Parkway Gardens to redacted, four years ago moved to redacted, have two bags, one with redacted, seven years ago to something. Met Ra Ra years ago when she lived in re Redacted. Haven't seen him since. Saw it on the news that Ra Ra was dead. Found out about it from other people too. The next day, Sally didn't tell her. Sally didn't tell her about that. Word was that Cash did it. Used to work at Redacted. Would stay at home. Too tired. All right. Uh, this is a continuum. Uh, of the document night Ra Ra was shot she did not drive Sally to Parkway Gardens didn't go over there and we have another female 25 being interviewed and uh, she states didn't want to talk to reporting detectives reporting detectives explain why they wish to speak to her Sally not at her apartment she didn't see him the day Marshall Marshall was killed Would send someone to log and burn ASA. Attempted to locate redacted at redacted on two occasions. No answer. Seems they're doing a canvas on the scene. He has, <coughs> excuse me. Some numbers for some individuals. At 2200 hours, White called back, didn't have redacted number. Will attempt to get it and call reporting detectives back. And we Sally Wiley, seems he was given a Snickers, a soda, a, a pop, McDonald's, and two chocolate donuts and a water. All right, and then I got another document for Sally Willie. At 2243 hours, advised, was at Cousin's house, redacted next door to Ra Ra's mother house. She ran back yelling that Ra Ra was shot, was laying down, eating noodles, put on clothes and ran down there. Her security guy was standing next to Cash when, she, when he shot at Ra Ra. Got in an argument with security guard. Got gun from redacted at Newtown BD, fired three times up in the air. Trying to disperse the crowd, numerous shots ring out. Gives the gun back to Redacted, runs southbound, learns Ra Ra hit. Uh, BS, not sure type of gun. Zero nine thirty hours, walked at Parkway Gardens for, uh, worked at Parkway Gardens for three months. Uh, this is a male 137, uh, unemployed uh, witness. And this is a handwritten uh, document, uh, supplementary report document. Contract for security company expired in September 2010. Was called on radio for dis uh, distraction in vicinity of 6358 South Martin Luther King. Individuals arguing large group of people out there. Didn't see fight, didn't know anyone nicknamed Redacted. <clears throat> Went back to pose at gate located at MLK and 65th Street by himself. About five minutes later, heard three gunshots. Ran toward 6358 South MLK as approaching. Here's one gunshot. Continue, hear multiple gunshots. Saw a male black with black handgun facing down in hand. Five feet, 840 pounds, 145 pounds, low haircut, white t-shirt with lettering. This individual flees westbound toward Calumet. Didn't see his force front or only back. Later see Ra Ra ambulance. Back gate was open that night by the school. Redacted told him to return to front gate. Redacted stayed by the fight. Interview with Redacted in Hightower included Somebody was observed by 
All right, we have another document. 2340 hours, interview by ASA Morrison at 40th in state. Uh, related the same with the following additions. Everyone knew Wiley shot Laverick. Saw w w Wiley with Laverick going to the fight. Sees Cash shoot. Gets on the floor. Doesn't see Willie at this point. Doesn't see anyone else shoot. Gets called afterwards that informed her that Laverick was shot. Also saw a male black name redacted there. Redacted was male 120s, 5'5 to 5'6, skinny with a chap a chip tooth. LT complete com oh light complected. Short dreads. Said redacted told her that he, Willie Laverick were running side by side and that Willie was shooting. Stated she knew about Willie being the second shooter when she spoke to the detectives. Was told not to tell. Was afraid because being told not to say anything. Wants the truth to be known. Went to 003rd District and discovered Redacted. That match physical description given by Redacted used to live in building next Redacted residence. Went to Redacted individual stated he lived there for lived there four years, did not know. Went to Redacted, spoke to Redacted mother. She said that he Redacted lived with his grandmother at Redacted at Parkway Gardens. Went to Redacted, say he did not live there. He was not on this lease. Looked in apartments, saw no signs of male black residing there. Grandmother Redacted. Then we have picked up Redacted for handwritten statement, brought to area two, ASA Morissette are present. All right, at 2200 hours, ASA interviewed, uh, related the same version, except stated he didn't see shooter cash get the gun. Just saw him leave with the gun, get into Tahoe. All right, we have ASA Lisa Morrison, mob action, felony murder, took to duty judge, CCDLC accepted him. All right, we have some inventory um, and then some interviews. Inventory photo. Seeking redacted, went to redacted, interview redacted. No one named redacted lived there since 2000. Redacted, no answer. Verified that apartment still leased by redacted. Went to redacted, spoke to redacted grandmother, said redacted was locked up in Wheaton, Illinois for several months for credit card fraud. Hasn't seen redacted since three years ago. Called a contact number used by redacted in the past. Spoke to an individual named redacted who stated he was redacted's stepfather. Said redacted didn't live with him. He redacted lived in Glenwood, Illinois. Number was redacted. Said, good, said a good cell number for redacted was redacted number not in service. Right, we're seeking individual with no answer. The next document. Reporting detectives called redacted at 17, 13 hours. Said he had errands to run and need call reporting detectives at 1830. Call redacted house, spoke to mother again. Said redacted was at girlfriend's house. Redacted doesn't have a cell phone. She will give Redacted the reporting detective's contact information. All right, and we have a, another document, 1100 hours in field, call him, would have to meet him, doesn't know, Redacted doesn't work with him anymore. Uh, contact number for Redacted, 1129 hours, Redacted left a message on cell, 1133 hours, P.O. Anton White say he saw the offender shooting straight ahead. All right, so these are listing time of events. 11.43, uh, phone NL active. 11.44, at home, mother took reporting detective's contact number. 11.50, redacted mom's cell number, no longer in service. 15, uh, excuse me, 11.53 hours, 
left message on cell phone home number no longer working all right can I do gunshot residue back log cases All right, we have another document here, uh, interviewed by and say Green, Gene Woods at 1510 hours at redacted, redacted cell number, got a phone call about redacted fighting, riding in car, pulled in to front gate, turn right, heard gunshots, pulled in lot by redacted, saw cash and others running towards school, got in a blue van, had gun in hand. Ran along Calumet, found his brother on ground, said he heard that Cash shot, but didn't see it. Haven't seen Redacted or Tells, Wiley, Redacted with Cash, all nicknames, NFI on them. And we have um, just locations of where the fight took place, and then the eight casings, the victim fell, here so it seems the fight took place over here and he ran or maybe he was being shot at since there are four casings here eight here four here and then he fell here all right we have a male black 25 date of birth year is 86 uh, under arrest by UIC police slash warrant, DuPage City, interviewed at hospital emergency room. He has a Newtown BD. Remembers the night Marshall was killed. There was a fight earlier between Redacted and Redacted. Redacted stated he did not see who was shooting at who. So it seems like there was like a back and forth spout maybe between, you know, these two individuals, Cashel and um uh rah rah excuse me uh redacted told the point detectives cash in custody told redacted not cooperative stated she will talk to him and bring him in next week all right all right next document we have is a um Another handwritten document for one Cashel Williams. Interview room number two, 1840 hours, advised of rights. Reporting detectives told Williams why he was there. <clears throat> Shooting of Laverick Marshall stated he was not out there. He heard about it. People were throwing names out on the street. Stated he didn't give a fuck. Stated he wanted a lawyer. All right. And we got 1844, male 122. Grew up in redacted, moved to Parkway Gardens when he was redacted. Lived Parkway Gardens until he was 12. Moved back to Cabrini Green and lived with redacted. Moved back to Parkway Gardens in 2008. Redacted stayed in Parkway Gardens when the family moved there. Redacted was a black disciple. Redacted was a gangster disciple. Parkway Gardens BD. When Redacted moved back to Parkway Gardens in 2008, the Newtown BDs had moved in on the north end of the property. The shooting of Marshall was the first incident that he was aware of between the Newtown BDs and the BDs on the southern part. All right. Bought cigarettes from, uh, this is a continuation of the document. Bought cigarettes from Redacted. Redacted sells fast food at Tobacco. Redacted sold loose cigarettes by Mother's Apartment. Redacted is on MLK by McDonald's. Got into confrontation with employee at Redacted. Girl in line made comment to Redacted and they got into an argument. Girl left and Redacted continued to try to get his cigarettes. Never got cigarettes. Rode his bike back into Parkway Gardens and a male black identified as Redacted hit Redacted as he rode by on his bike. Redacted fell off his bike, got up on his bike, and rode to his house to get his brothers. 
<clears throat> excuse me, had never seen Redacted before. Went back and got Labyrinth. Redacted was on a balcony and he saw them power walking back towards the north to find Redacted. Sees Redacted and locked behind 6358 South Martin Luther King. They fight. Redacted beats Redacted. Marshall stood on perimeter to make sure no one jumped in. All right, and then we have a continuation. Starts walking back, and Washington comes back and says, Let's go. Cash walks towards them, was holding a black 9mm handgun. Cash said, Who won it? Lifted up, lifted gun up, and pointed it at Marshall's. Mark pointed it. Marshall started running. Hear gunshots. Marshall's yell, Marshall yells, I'm hit, but continues running until he collapsed. Never saw anyone else shooting. Stated he and Marshall were the only ones at the fight, but there were a lot of people out there. Never saw his brother redacted at the fight or the shooting. Show photo of Will Sally. Knows him as Illa. Did not see Sally out there that night. Girl at Redacted is named Redacted. Redacted is in her 30s. Redacted lives in Parkway Gardens in the middle of the complex somewhere. Right. And we have Redacted came to Area 2, interviewed by reporting detectives. View lineup positively identified of Williams, interviewed by ASA Mike Clark. All right, and we have a re-interviewed individual. Stated two people were walking. One was further south than the other. The one closest to the north fired a handgun northbound. Couldn't tell if one was shorter or taller than the other. Believe he fired first, but not sure. We have another document. 1425 hours. Redacted came to Area 2. View lineup, no ID made. ASA Tyner contacted. He called Supervisor Gambino, who stated, don't interview Redacted. Called ASA Sean and explained that all four security guards were supposed to be interviewed by ASA Sean. Said disregard. Redacted said he saw approximately four to six individuals walking southbound, but had to know for sure because though there were so many people. All right, and that's the end of that second document, and uh, we'll jump right into the third uh, right after this. All right, and we are on the next document, uh, page one, and we are at 1535 hours. This is a male 124, unemployed, mother cell phone listed, denied gang affiliation. Received call from Marshall that Redacted was in a fight, drove a park Drove and parked in lot at Redacted. Fight in parking lot was over. All were in a grassy area between the buildings. Redacted and Redacted were still saying things to each other. See Cash walk up, pulled out a black handgun. Didn't run because he didn't think Cash would shoot over a fist fight. Cash started shooting at him. Redacted and Marshall, who had started walking, Redacted. Redacted ran toward the office southwest while Marshall, Redacted, ran Redacted. Link back up with Redacted and Marshall, where Marshall fell on the ground. Continued. Stated he never knew someone else shot. Cash called him and told him that he was shot at first. Didn't hear a name of who shot towards Cash and the Newtown BDs. Reporting detectives told Redacted that Cash won't get charged until we know who the other shooter was and learn what really occurred. Redacted asked if the second shooter could also get charged with Marshall's death. Responding officers responded that it was possible. Redacted waited approximately one hour for ASA to come and then left Area 2 before being interviewed. All right, and we have a female 120. She is a computer instructor, girlfriend of Marshall. Right, and uh, went, uh, 16, 10 hours, went to a friend, went to friend, redacted, girls night with redacted little kids there too. Got there at two, uh, two zero 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 hours. Laverick didn't know she was there. Would be mad if he found out she was in Parkway. Talked on phone with Laverick at 23, 25 hours. Redacted looked out window and said, there goes Ra Ra. Redacted didn't look, didn't work out. Because she didn't want Ra Ra, didn't look out, 
didn't know she was there. Then Redactor said a crowd was running up, so Redactor looked out the window and saw several crowds of people. Saw Ra Ra, Redactor was in a fist fight with Redactor, was winning fight. People were saying, let them fight one on one. People were running up to see the fight. When the fight was over, Ra Ra, Redactor were backing up to go back towards their house. Saw Cash come out from the area of Calumet. Not sure if Cash came from a house, a car, or the parking lot of Douglas School. Cash was wearing a black t-shirt and black BB hat. He had a black gun in his hand. Thinks it was his left hand. Cash pointed gun in air and fired one time. Crowd began to run. Ra Ra Redacted began to run. Saw Cash bring gun down. Point at crowd and begin to fire. Then someone say, shoot at the crowd, shoot at the crowd, right before he did. Heard at 20 to 30 shots. Heard about 20 to 30 shots. Got down on the floor. Never saw anyone shooting back. Never heard it at, about anyone shooting back. Got a call from Redacted about two minutes later. And she said Ra Ra was shot. Redacted left, ran downstairs, and saw Cash still standing in front with three guys. They all got in a striped brown tan van, saw a green Jeep, a newer model vehicle behind them. They both pulled off, ran to Ra Ra, saw him laying on the ground. Redacted came, then ambulance, has known Redacted one to two years from her cousin, Redacted. All right, and we have ASA Sean arrived at 1715. All right, uh, 2153 went to Redacted Residence in Redacted, showed photo array containing photo of Kasha Williams. All right, tentative ID of Williams as shooter would have to see him in person to be sure. Asked Redacted to call reporting detectives with names of all tenants on second floor at Redacted MLK. Uh, 2209 stated Marshall was his redacted, was at home when he got called that Marshall had been killed, doesn't know who shot Marshall, nothing related, <clears throat> excuse me, from Marshall about conflict slash fight. All right, and they recovered the bullet from a window casing, took photos. Uh, received a call from Redacted, said owner of the vehicle was outside having a party when the fight and shooting occurred. Said she might have been a witness. Walked grounds when he arrived at work and found vehicle, black Ultima, Nissan 2009 Nissan four door. And I think I've cut it right here. We'll pick up in another part. Uh, thank you guys, and definitely tune in for the last part. Peace.